Hello great minds, welcome to another lesson on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson we will be looking at exercise 13 and in exercise 13 there are what three examples. All right, we are going to be looking at example one. Now in example one, we are going to be making use of three concepts. Three concepts. First, we have concept of multiplication, uh, division, and imaginary numbers. All right. Now, imaginary numbers are numbers that do not appear in the example but are used in the example. In this example, we have an imaginary three. Now let's look at the first picture. On the left hand side we can see numbers and also on the right hand side we have numbers. However, the numbers on the left hand side as you can see are smaller than the numbers on the right hand side. Alright, so this means to get the number on the right hand side they we have to what multiply the numbers on the left hand side by three and to get those one on the left hand side we have to divide the number on the right hand side by three all right so this is how we make use of the imaginary three in this example all right now let's try to find the 15 on the right hand side making use of any of the numbers which suits the number 15 well when you look at 15 and look at all the numbers on the left hand side you discover that the 5 is what you multiplied by 3 to get 15 let's check it out on the board 5 times 3 that's the imaginary 3 that gives us 15 so we simply multiply the 5 on the left by the 3 the imaginary 3 to get the 15 so the same way if we want to get the 4 on the left hand side we have to do the opposite of multiplying which is dividing all right so you look on the right hand side you discover that with your imaginary three only 12 can possibly be the number all right so when you go to the 12 and divide by the imaginary three remember that is what you do to get the number on the left hand side so you have 12 divided by 3 that gives you 4 so this is how we get numbers on the left hand side we simply divide so we can do the same for other numbers on the left hand side or on the right hand side so by simply connecting them as you can see all right so this is how they are all connected so whenever we want to find any of them we first of all identify the number connected with it now let's look at example two all right we have the concept of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and finally, division. There are four concepts in example two. So let's go to the picture. Now this is what we have in example two. There are five numbers. Now the four on the left in four boxes must be used to get the one on the large box which is a rectangle but take note the seven and the eight are connected and the nine and five are connected to get the eleven so how are these numbers connected now let's go to the board seven times 8 the result is 56 56 
all right now once we have gotten the 56 we look at the other side that is connected the 9 and the 5 we multiply them also and the result is 45 4 to 5 all right now what do we do with this value well we subtract them when we subtract 5 from 6 it is going to be a 1 the same thing 4 from 5 is 1 so we have 11 so this is how we got 11 now this time around we want to find numbers on the left hand side for example the 8 how do we get the 8 so we are going to start with the other numbers that are connected the 5 and the 9 all right so we start with them 9 times 5 the result is 45 we've done that before now once we have done this we add the 11 in the rectangular box all right so that is to say 45 plus 11 and that gives us 56 so what do we do with this 56 to get the number you look at the table again you have a 7 so we have 56 all right divided by 7 that gives us 8 all right so this is how we get the 8 what about the 7 exactly the same way we solve for 8 we solve for 7 all right so 9 how do we get 9 we have to start with the side that is complete that is the 7 and the 8 so we have 7 times 8 that gives us 56 56 now we take this 56 and subtract 11 from it all right so when we subtract 11 from 56 the result is 45 45 all right so once we get this 45 we have to divide this 45 by the other number okay and when you check very well the other number is 5 so 45 divided by 5 gives us 9 so this is how we get the 9 or number in the 9 position so the way we get the 9 is the same way we get the 5 all right so this is how we solve example number two now let's look at example number three which happens to be the last example in this video we are going to be looking at the concept of addition we also look at the concept of subtraction uh, multiplication and division in this example all right so now let's get started now we have this kind of slanted end shape and there are four numbers here we have the six the nine the five and finally the 24 now we are going to attempt to get the 24 a very fast and simple way of doing this is to subtract the number in the 5 position from that of the 9 position and then multiply by the 6 to get 24 9 minus 5 is 4 4 times 6 is 24 see but there is the other way we are going to do it on the board so this is another method now let's go to the board we say 6 times 9 that gives us 54 all right so we write that down they will also use the same six all right 
to multiply the 5. So that is 6 times 5. 6 times 5 will give us 30. 3 and a 0. Alright. So 6 times 5, 30. So what do we do next? We subtract the values. So 4 minus 0 is 4. 5 minus 3 is 2. You see, we still get the same answer, which is 24. So you can use any of the method. Now to get 9 using the other three values. So how do we do this? Let's go to the board 2. We have a 6 times 5. That gives us 30. Alright. Now, once we have gotten the 30, we have to remember there's a 24. So, what do we do with 30 and 24? We add them up. So, we have 30 plus 24. That will give us 54. 54. Now, once we have gotten our 54, we have to do a division. So, we are going to divide the 54 by the same 6 we use in multiplying the 5. Alright, so 54 divided by 6, that's going to give us a 9. So, this is how we get 9 or the number in the 9 position. Now, what about the 5? How do we get the 5? It's quite easy. Let's go to the board. Alright. Now, we are going to start with the 6. So, you see the 6 times 9. What do we get from that? That gives us 54. 54. Alright. Now, that 54, we have to subtract the 24 from it so we have 54 minus 24 that will give us 30 all right 30 now what do we do with this 30 we go to the 6 again and divide the 30 by the 6 so 30 divided by 6 will give us 5 5 so this is how we got the 5 or the number in the 5 position now the last one is the 6 it's quite simple but let's go to the board and see how simple this is so what do we do we simply start with the 9 and the 5 when we subtract them we have 9 minus 5 equal to 4 so what do you do with this 4? Well, we simply divide the 24 by 4. So that is 24 divided by 4. The result will be equal to 6. So this is how we get the 6 or the number in the 6 position. All right, so this is all we are going to take on this video. Hope you had a great time learning in today's class. I want you to do your quiz and your assignments. All right, I want to thank you for watching. See you in the next class. Bye. Mm -hmm.